All right, it seems like Detroit Lion Nation got Kerryon Johnson and his feelings of walking on eggshells. Like one of the Lions publications, I think it was Lion Wire, um, posted that uh, basically DeAndre uh, Swift is coming for uh, Kerryon Johnson's job. He working out and Kerryon Johnson on the beach chilling with his lady uh, and not doing no work. Kerryon, you know, basically responded saying that just because uh i'm on the beach enjoying myself don't doesn't mean i'm working out but uh hit that subscribe button bell icon button share the video and it seems that you know the a lot of detroiters are lions fans because we got lions fans everywhere um believe it or not are you know basically you know donning you know deandre swift as you know the next guy i mean we've been through this with kevin jones and uh, Joyke Bell, Reggie Bush, Javi Best, I mean, James Stewart. I mean, you can just keep naming, 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 naming the peripheral backs that we didn't have. But I ain't counting on Kerryon Johnson yet, especially with no rookie. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like DeAndre Swift is the flavor um, of the month so far, man. But, you know, I don't think Kerryon going to go out without a fight. I think everybody over Kerryon with the injuries and him not being able to make something happen. But, you know, we didn't have at least, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1,000 backs, you know, Zach Zinners of the world and, you know, Bo Scarborough, Tyler Johnson in the world that haven't been able to do much behind this offensive line either, you know what I'm saying, or in the system neither. It's kind of been a lid on the running game. And, you know, people forget, Carrion's just 23 years old, you know, and they ready to throw him away. But I wouldn't count the kid out yet, even though I think Baker is a nice fit. I think they can complement each other. I think they can run parallel, you know what I'm saying? I think they can do – they can work together and do a lot of great things together. But, you know, that's just what the media and the fan base is there for. They always want to divide and conquer. They want to have carry on people on one side. They want to have DeAndre Swift on people on one side. But looking at what San Francisco did, they had three or four backs last year, Coleman, Breida, and Morstead. You know what I'm saying? Looking at what Kansas City came in, they had three or four backs at a point in time where, you know, and then they got the the, the, the kid – they got out of uh, Damian. They got from undrafted Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, and they had LaShawn McCoy. You know, it's a lot of people. I mean, remember Ron, Day, Ron, Ron Dane from Wisconsin? He was a great Big Ten running back. He was supposed to be Thunder and Lightning with um, Tiki Barber, you know, Ron Day brother. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you know, look at Philadelphia. They, they drafted a kid last year out of Penn State, Miles Sanders. They had Jordan Howard. You know, they, they used four or five backs. New Orleans has always been famous. Chris Ivory. Um, Pierre Thomas, Reggie Bush. So it can be done. It just don't have to be a one back system. You know what I'm saying? They can work together. You know, just because Carry On ain't on working out, he taking pictures on the beach. It ain't like he took a picture with a baller belly out there. He seemed to be in, in, in good shape. I'm pretty sure he's still, you know, working out. You know, he ain't never seemed to be a problem child in the locker room. You know, you need to probably do something with his hair or some shit. His hair always just looking like Florida Evans or something. But other than that, let's not count this brother out. Let's not turn on him because, you know, we remember when Ahmad, uh, y'all know the kid I'm talking about. I'm uh, Amir Abdullah. I call this dude Ahmad. Amir Abdullah, you know, he came in and he was the flavor of the week, the flavor of the month. He he boiled out versus the Jets, excuse me, in preseason. And then that didn't translate, you know, all season. Then he boiled out versus the Colts the, the next season in week one. And then he didn't, or it was the Chargers. You know, I think it was. I think he had a solid game versus the Colts and got injured, and then he never recaptured that 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 torch again, that flame again. So, you know, it's no point for the Lions publications, the media, the major, the small, the new media. Let's not put DeAndre Swift versus Kerryon Johnson. Let's not make make some uh make something up that's not there. You know, let's not make something up. Let let them both ball out. They gonna compete and they gonna share the load. It's no longer really a one back system in, in the league no more. You got you got uh Saquon, you got Zeke Elliott, but for every Saquon and Zeke Elliott, it's two, you know, running back by committees now. It ain't no it ain't too many running backs that's 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 getting twenty carries, thirty carries a game. You know, you got Le'Veon, you got a few guys out there, but it's it's running back by committee. But, you know, if I'm him, I really wouldn't have responded to it. But obviously it irks you when somebody you know, it's poking fun or somebody trying to assassinate your character or your work ethic and you've been working and your picture, it ain't like you got fat. It ain't like you had love handles. He looked like he in solid shape, but to a lot of Detroiters and Lions fans, he's been a disappointment due to injury. So if you ain't producing, you shouldn't have fun, huh? If you have injuries, you shouldn't enjoy life. 
You know what I'm saying? If you if you if if you ain't if you ain't repl if you ain't really progressing, you sh you don't deserve to chill with your girl and get some uchi coochie. You just need to be working 24 seven. Like he's a kid, he's gonna enjoy his life. He got to get healthy, but just because you don't see him working, it don't it don't mean he's not working. No, those are the ones that 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 work the hardest. It ain't like DeAndre Swift out here showing off, you know, his aerobics class and what he doing. He was just seen working out with Matthew Stafford. Nobody know how that workout went. He could have threw up. He could have dropped 10 balls. He could have went out there and caught 10 balls. But to kind of put them against each other, who going to battle for the number one spot, it's a committee. It's a running back by committee. So don't everybody forget that. These dudes, they going to compete. But what you got to realize is you got to protect the quarterback. That's a huge thing for rookie running backs. He got to learn the protection. He got to learn the audibles. He got to learn the playbook. You know, and also he got to get adjusted to the speed of the game. Pretty sure he'll be he be in a rotation to so will carry on. So will carry on Johnson. He will be in the rotation. But competition, you're gonna see you're gonna see it bring the best out of Bo Scarborough, Huntley, Johnson. It's gonna bring the best out of out, out, of, out of out of motherfucker DeAndre Swift. This is what you want. A competitive running back room. Where they fighting for four spots, probably. Since they don't really use a fullback, they fighting for four, four or five spots. Four spots. Tyler Johnson, he working. You know, I'm pretty sure Huntley working. I know um, Bo working. I know DeAndre working. I know Kerryon working. So this is competition. But also, they fighting for the same goal. They both going to be in the backfield. They both going to get their touches. They both can catch it out the backfield. So, you know, people kind of want to celebrate DeAndre Swift and he ain't had a carry yet. Oh, quick, how we how quickly we forget about uh, Amir Abdullah. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't preordain this dude. Don't crown him. And Dennis, my Dennis, uh, Dennis Green voice, don't crown him. You know, Swift got to go out there and earn it. He got to go out there and not saying he won't. But you never know. You know, you might get the you might get the best out of Carry On Johnson. Give me a minute. He might give you the best that he got. He might come out and have a beast of a year. You know, but this is a make or break year for him. This is that year for him. This is that year if either either he gonna ball out, he gonna get it, he gonna get it good. He gonna he gonna show that he can run between the tackles, bounce it offside. He going to ball out, or this might be his last year with the Lions. Straight up and straight down. Either, either he going to ball out or not. I swear, the people so bored in my neighborhood, man, they just they just start cutting their grass five or six times a day for no fucking reason. But, you know, that's just, that's just the situation that we're in right now, man. People bored. The quarantine got people overanalyzing stuff and stuff, stuff of that nature. Oh, I think, I think, I think, you know, Kirion can't keep up with DeAndre. I think, I don't think he can keep up with him, this, that, and the third. Well, hey, let's just see how it play out. They can both play with him. They both can play. People do know that. They both, they both can, can actually complement each other. They both can be on the field at the same time. So, you know, they trying to create some type of beef or schism before they get there, man. So, Kerry on had to defend his work ethic. I, mean, I can see if it was a picture where he was out of shape. Love handles, titty sagging. He like he gained 20, 30 pounds. This dude is rock solid still. But then again, his upright running style, his upright running style may not be, you know, it may not be, you know, what the NFL, you know, for the NFL. We see Derek McFadden has some issues. AP has some issues, but... We'll see how, how it go, man. But you ain't got to put both of them against each other, in my opinion. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, prior response, shoot video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel. Cash app, PayPal, description. Best way to donate is to share, share the videos. And, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Carry On defending his work ethic against, you know, the post from, I think it was Lion Wire, but I'll put it on the screen, man. I do appreciate all the love, all the support. Anybody that donate, appreciate it. 
the best donation you can make is share the video and check my other channel out, Goodfellas Sports TV, right here on YouTube. And check out the backup, Motor City Sports Talk 2.0, just in case the channel go down. You can know where to find me at one time for one time, Motor City Sports Talk. Mm -hmm.